Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and today I'm bringing you some glad tidings, I guess sort of, in regards to the issue with the visa payments that Final Fantasy XIV has been suffering from for some time now. Uh, according to this post since April, honestly, it feels like it's been longer, but that is when they made the changeover to the new payment processor. Um, everyone's been wondering what the timeline is, you know, whether it's this or the benchmark. People got questions. And so, we have an update over on the Lodestone today, and it's because I know not all of you check it, I'm here to deliver the news. Following our investigation into the inability to use Visa debit cards after the payment processor switch in April of 2024, we are pleased to announce that we will be implementing adjustments which will once again enable Visa debit as a payment option for customers in North America. That's the good news. The bad news is when it'll happen. The adjustments are currently targeted, keyword, targeted, for release in July of 2024, and we will provide a more specific date as we move closer to implementation. Very, very bad to not have this done before the expansion. Now, obviously, I don't know the ins and outs of it. I can't tell them that they, I, I can't tell if they could have done it faster. I don't know what the process for all this is. So I can only criticize with basically no knowledge at all. So who cares what I think? But I think we all agree having it done before the expansion launch probably would have been ideal. Before June 28th, heck, before June. Heck, now. Why not now? In the meantime, we would like to take this opportunity to remind customers that other payment options are available, such as Krista, which can be purchased via Amazon Pay or PayPal, Amazon Pay itself, or game time codes available from various online retailers, including the Square Enix store. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience this issue has caused and appreciate your patience as the teams work to test and implement the required adjustments. At least we're not in the dark about it anymore, but I'm sure that th everyone's going to have the same emotions I had. They're going to read the start, be like, oh, thank goodness, it's fine. Oh, uh, July. Now, <laughs> I don't really know what to offer other than the same thing they say here. You have the other payment methods, and hopefully you're able to access those payment methods in some capacity or go online and buy the game time codes because uh, I don't think you want to wait till July to start playing. I don't think you want to be dealing with this at that point. I wonder if we'll ever find out what the issue exactly was, either with the payment processor, Visa themselves, or whatever actually happened. But I doubt it. So we'll just have to assume that it was an issue that took this long to fix, and that's the end of it. But I just wanted to give you a little update here on YouTube in case you had missed the news, and if you are someone who is patiently waiting for this issue to be resolved. Uh, and here you go. There it is. So that's going to be the video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for all Dawn Trail stuff. If there's any new updates on this or the benchmark or whatever, I got you covered. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care.